Hi, welcome back to the channel. So a while back I did a video on an app called Plotter and if you're not familiar with that, it's essentially an app that allows you to create a story draft from outline point of view. Um, for those of you who like to plan your story before you start writing, this is the kind of app that you want to look into. And I did the video um, back when we were still fairly new and didn't have all the features that it has today. And I never really went back to it uh, because A, I just you know, had only bought the year of subscription and uh, it was one of those apps where as much as I like it, I'm still ultimately kind of a hybrid to Canster, uh, not so much of a uh, planner myself. Uh, so I didn't make a lot of use of the app, but I am interested in uh, Plotter again because they've recently announced a new upgrade called Plotter Pro. And if you're not familiar with Plotter Pro, it's essentially the online version of Plotter that syncs across all your devices. So rather than having a single license for a single uh, a computer or laptop or whatever you're using it on or even buy multiple license for multiple devices where you still have to ultimately uh, transfer your files from one to the other plotter pro allows you to do everything from a central cloud database so that if you use uh, if you make an update on your desktop for example uh, then it's going to sync with your um, online so I actually went ahead and I got one of the beta copies it's the last series they're doing before official release in May and I thought I would test it out and show you guys what it actually does and as usual I always encourage you if you like what you see you know do check out Plotter Pro's uh, website uh, at plotter.com and get more information there and you can see if it's something that you want to invest in when it comes around in May officially but um, I did want to show it off just briefly so you guys know what it is and whether or not uh, it's something you want so I've got the old uh, desktop app open here and I did have it minimized just so you can still see it but behind it you'll see that I've got the um, web app version so if I minimize this right now you'll see that this is the actual plotter pro web base uh, hub here and you'll see that I can create a blank project create from template or upload existing product uh, project what's neat about this is if you are starting for the first time but you have a uh, previous account with plotter and you want to upload it to uh, the desktop or the cloud version or whatever it is you're doing you can use this upload feature or um, or actually when you first sign on it's actually not the way to do it but when you first sign on it'll actually give you the option to uh, upload all of your uh, documents so if you go into like settings for example and you check out all your like beta features uh, backups and whatnot you can see all the different uh, choices you have here and then um, if you go here into to the backups, you have your backup files. This again would be the cloud base, but you also can have the option to set it up on your desktop if you want. And of course your files themselves is where you're gonna um, create your new projects. Um, and I just, I wanna show you guys an example. So like I have the, the web open right now, um, but I also have the desktop open down here. And I just wanna show you like, if I create a new project, create blank project right here, it's going to give me the option to start something new. So what I'll do is instead of calling it Untitled, uh, we will rename it to what I actually want to call it, which I think we'll do Paperweight since that's the book that I'm currently working on for my reader magnet, and we'll say OK. And so now I have an actual uh, file called Paperweight. So if I click on it, or rather if I open it, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the official Paperweight segment, and then I have access to all of the usual project stuff. Um, now what's neat is if I go to, let's say if I create the um, the, the uh, picture, which I'll do real quick. So if we go to upload file, I'll go ahead and I may have a quick cut here just so um, I can bring it in, but I'll show you real quick the difference here. And, and uh, while we're at it, I just wanna show you real quick I go back to the, the dashboard, which is this button here. Um, you can already see that it's updated paperweight. And if I go to open, I don't have anything necessarily set up just yet. Um, but again, I want to open it so you see what I'm working with. If I go to project, again, it's blank. I'm going to close that out and um, Go to my web app here, drop the file. All right, so you see I have my file choices here. And again, I haven't done anything on this page yet, but this is my desktop app. 
I click on paperweight and open and drop it into my um, my web app. We'll go ahead and choose this. So now it's on my web app, and we'll just real quick call it paperweight. Uh, the genre is uh, adventure. Actually, it's, it's satire. It's the type of it is. Satire, um, premise, he brought them an apple, they gave him a job, both will come to regret it, okay, and the theme is, um, let's see, um, Say, take care of your belongings. I'll fix that later. That's not, that's not it, but it's, it is, it's good enough for enough for now. So I'll save it. And again, I'm in the desk or the uh, the, the mobile or the back the web app. Um, by the way, there is a mobile app too, I, uh, which I'm not going to show off since I'm not sure how to do that for my mobile. But if I go back to my desktop and if I hit um, is it refresh. All right, well, that should have synced. So did we come up with a bug? Or does it think I'm let it hold on, let me go back to dashboard real quick. It might feel like I'm open. Uh, should have synced. It, well, it is a beta product, so it's very possible that um, it's not fully ready to go but that should have worked unless uh, maybe I don't have it let me just make sure I have it sinking here all right let's see we probably do want to go offline mode Mm. So that's a little odd because it's supposed to actually sync, which I mean, this one synced pretty well. So I'm not sure why this one didn't, unless I have to. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so here that's the yeah, it's it's not immediate. I guess is the issue. Um, so you saw I didn't do anything different. I was just trying to wake it up. So. It, it does sync. It doesn't maybe, I, I was under the impression it's all immediate, but maybe not. Um, but anyway, so you can see that I've created that. And if I go into the timeline, um, I can create a new uh, chapter here. I didn't create any templates because you just saw I've, I've started this new. But if I do want the proactive scene here, um, I can do this. And we'll say we'll call it a goal. And... Um, We'll choose it, and then this is going to be um, financial problems. This is the official beginning. Okay, if I click on that and then go inside, you know, just go through the usual stuff that I would normally do on a um, version of the regular plotter here. Uh, the description here is uh, Wilson Maximilian. CEO of Investment Phillips Corporation. Don't mind my spelling. Phillips being a power verb. Um, discovers. To his horror. His company is not only bleeding money, but has been for the last two decades and didn't know it thanks to his accountants lying to him. And now his company is almost out of money. He needs to up with 
solution fast if he wants to save not only his own job but those he's employed. If only he knew how to run a business in a proper way. Okay. So that's kind of a really brief explanation of what this scene is and um, what his conflict is. Now, this character is actually not the main character. This is the uh, Catalyst character who gets our main character into the story. Our main character is actually a character named Louis Erlong, who is an adventurer. And I have, um, I can actually show you guys. I've got, uh, I think it's this one here. Um, this particular draft is on Scrivener is the story that I started writing and the scene I'm just describing is, uh, come on, slowpoke. What I'm describing is this first scene, um, which again, sorry, my computer is so slow when it has all these apps open. Um, trying to give you guys a good video, but as usual, everything slows to a crawl. Um, this is the actual chapter that I wrote, so I'm really basing the outline off of something I've already written. But um, you can see where, like, if I go back to the, um, sorry, the, the tract here, um, I'm sorry, I keep pulling up wrong. I pull up this uh, web app, and let's say we just go back to, um, we'll close it out. Oh, I can fill in other stuff later. If I go to the to the desktop here and then go to the timeline, and let me make sure, did I have the right one open? Let me close this out, because I think part of the problem is I got two open. Let me close this out here. If I go to the project here and then yeah, click on the book, you'll see that I've got the, in the desktop version, this is already created. So basically the purpose of Plotter Pro is to um, sync your, all your chapters, all your plotter, plotting things together with your desktop your mobile app and then of course your web app um, depending on where you want to work and how um, you can make one change in one place and then it'll be persistent elsewhere it's also um, good for when you want to collaborate with other writers in order to tell a story um, you can give them access to your uh, timeline and have them work with you and there's just a whole string of things that you can do but um, the upgrade's pretty easy. It's just they, they give you a simple process to upload all of your current projects into Plotter Pro. The trick is you have to make sure you've got a version that's um, 2022 or, or recent. Uh, so I think it was January 2022. It is your um, Plotter app should at least be updated at that point. The problem I ran into was I had uh, my license had a previously expired back in July. I never renewed it so I ended up having to and I actually I don't know if I had to do this I just did it anyways I ended up removing the license off of the desktop uh, file that I've got and then I signed in to Plotter Pro and just upgraded and all that stuff so there are, is a way in which you can take your current version of Plotter and upgrade it to Plotter Pro once you buy the Plotter, Plotter Pro license um, but officially Plotter Pro will not be available I think until May but they do have some limited betas um, right now uh, as of March 22nd and I think if you're on the mailing list you may have gotten the invite and if you got the invite um, you can get a picture of what you're actually in, are getting into so if you um, if you do have uh, any concerns about Plotter Pro whether or not it's worth the money I would say it's worth it if you prefer the regular desktop version because it literally is just the same thing but um, gives you unlimited access to it like with unlimited um, ways in which to edit and, and all that. So that's really the draw to Plotter Pro. It's nothing particularly different that you don't already have. If you are strictly like an at-home writer, if you don't like to write anywhere but a home or anywhere but on the device that you currently use, it may not be worth it to you to get it only because, um, you know, if you only need it on one device, then you know why add extra? Um, why pay extra for something you may only use in one place where the one license is perfectly fine? Uh, but if you are on the go, if you find that you travel a lot, or if you just like to variate your locations, and maybe you know maybe you have a um, you work in a place where you have internet access, and you just for you know on your lunch break you might want to 
pick out a card and rather than wait until you go home you may, might want to just update it right then and there you know that's an option for you um, if you have it on your phone and you want to you know you're on the bus or you're in, you know, at a stoplight and you just you have this really great idea that you have a couple seconds you can plug some information in again it'll update in real time so that's some of the advantages of having plotter pro and uh, you know at, over time you will be able to fill all this in um, just because I just got it today I haven't had a chance to do much with it and because my old um, plotter expired back in July I haven't really been using it so uh, I, like I said I don't have a lot to show but if I do go back on to the um, web app here and I go to back to my dashboard which I'll do through this component and let's say if I go to following where um, planning I think I open that again I just you know um, imported everything uh, you'll find that if I go to my series view it's everything I've got here so and again I didn't do anything special to the desktop it's just imported all the stuff that I've had from before and then if I wanted to add a scene here choose She's reactive, I guess. Hit OK. And test scene. Okay. Don't really need to worry about what's in there at the moment. But uh, if I have this other stuff, you'll see some of the old devices. If I go back to my desktop and go to my dashboard and then go to planning, you'll see it's already uh, making it the most recent thing. So you kind of get the idea. It's. Um, it's not exactly rocket science what it does here. It's really about a matter of, is this something that you want to do? Is this something that you want to use? Will this be useful to you? And uh, hopefully this video will show you whether or not it's worth it to you. See if the testing is already updated. And um, one last thing I want to show you guys before I call the video, something that they are showing on the demonstration on the, um, uh, on the, the YouTube file is if you move things in real time, It'll, it's supposed to move in real time on the desktop. So if I move that, um, sorry. Oh, I see why that didn't work. Okay. So if I do like something like this, come on, do what I want. All right, screw it, we'll do this. I do that, reactive, and choose the scene to there it is it pops up over here so that's uh, I think kind of neat too um, I was trying to show you guys what happens if I move it in real time and there you go so that's um, plotter pro and uh, you know hopefully this give you some clue on whether or not it's gonna be worth your money uh, it will, will be, uh, I think, 300 is what they're saying it's going to be for the lifetime um, once it goes live in May. Right now, if you are on the mailing list, it's 60% off, so uh, that should also give you some information. But anyway, it's Plotter, um, let you know just in more places to access it. And um, not to mention, uh, the lifetime will mean you'll get every update to do from here on out. So decide if you like it, decide if it's something you want. Um, and at some point, you know, I may do another video once I've actually got a full plot to show you guys something uh, useful that um, if you're not, if you want to go back to learning how to use Plotter itself, then um, you'll have that option. But anyway, there you go. Plotter Pro. Uh, just, you know, like it. Yes. Don't like it. No. Um, let me know. So, and then let them know. And uh, I think that's everything. So take care and hope you all are well. Bye.